was always packed, you know, it was always a lot of crowd, you know, a lot of times you couldn't even get in the place. And you dress up, everybody went in, it was rag to the bone, you know, dress to impress your office tag. <laughs> it was a center of activity where our needs were met as people of color, providing a community where you had all of the diversity that you need for survival, entertainment. All of the entertainers wanted to be there. Oh my goodness. Okay, you have piqued my interest. Welcome back to Houston Life. We have chatted about this documentary before here on Houston Life. It's called Memory Builds the Monument about Houston's iconic club matinee in the historic Fifth Ward. That's right. And musical legends like Ray Charles, James Brown, and Aretha Franklin often perform there. And the director, Isaac Yeoman, is here with us now. Welcome to the show. Thank you all for having me. Well, welcome me. back. How about I know, that? I know, kind I know. of back and, you know, whatever. But listen, congratulations. Thank Thank you so much. Found out that Paramount is just picked this up. I yes. want to know, like, what was the phone call? Like, what happened? Where were you when it happened? And did you scream? <laughs> Man, it actually was not a, a quick just call process. It was, uh, we we actually premiered the film at South by Southwest in 2022. Um, and then it was nominated for an NAACP Image Award. And so that kind of got a lot of things brewing while it was working the film festival circuit. And, uh, man, major, you know, Thanks to Paramount and Marvin Neal and Devin Griffin at BET Plus for believing in me as a young black director. And uh, they believed in the film and they, and they saw it and they was like, wow, we, we, really, we really should get this out to the world. Isaac, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal to have distribution, right? Because if you're an independent filmmaker, you put your blood, sweat, tears, and money into making a documentary. It's a passion project. And then you submit it to festivals, hoping to get eyes on it mm -hmm. and hoping to get the call from Paramount. Um, for you, I know this was just so much work. What drove your passion? What was it about the story of Club Matinee that really made you want to devote so many, literally, like, years of your life to this project? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, um, my background is music. I am a multi-platinum Grammy-nominated music producer. And so music at the core is the essence of me, and it's just part of my ethos. So just being able to see Matinee and understand so much rich history, um, Fifth War CRC and my partners at Source Studios, Mel Chin brought this project to me, and they, when they were telling me about what it was and where it was, and it was a, a safe place for black people to play during the times of segregation, it just uh, drew strong on my heart, and so I had to, had to be a part of it. So I'm just curious to know, I know that you have some private screenings coming up. You have one coming up in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, can we see it here in Houston, a private screening? Like, I want to see it, right? I mean, I know it's going to be on BET, right? Yeah, yeah, Throughout yeah. the month of February. But, you know, you love that exclusive, you know, just being exclusive in that environment in Houston. And it's sure. about Fifth Ward. So. Yeah, so we actually did um, our first private screening here in Houston um, a week ago, actually, um, at uh, the MAG downtown. We actually, alongside the film, we opened up a 23,000 square foot art exhibition. Downtown, right in the heart of downtown, 1201 Main Street, it's called the MAG, the um, Modern Art Gallery. And it's an entire art exhibition that'll be running through uh, the entire month of Black History, as well as uh, through the month of March, celebrating the entire film. So the entire exhibition is centered around Memory Builds the Monument, the film. So I would love for you all to come. Uh, it's free to come and it's donation based. Um, and yeah, we will be celebrating on um, February 17th at Morehouse College in Atlanta, showing the film at the um, legendary Ray Charles Performing Arts Center. So it's a big thing because Ray Charles' connection to Matinee was so powerful. So I'm excited. We're doing a lot of really cool things. We have an album coming out um, connected to the film too. So we have the art exhibition, which is called Southern Glory. And then we have a new album coming out called Southern Glory that I produced and wrote. So it ties my music. Will there be local artists of featuring? Of course, yeah. that's the I, whole I, point. Listen, I, want, I gotta know, can you tell us a few of them? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Phil Wade is a part of the album, Susan Carroll, Spud Howard, um, and a lot of really cool, uh, amazing musicians, uh, bass players, guitars, Nick Johnson, um, Tyson Shedd, just some classic, Tyson Shedd actually played with Archie Bell in the drills while they used to tour, so that was just a pleasure. And so the whole um, thought process with this project is just merging the generations and, and uplifting new artists. And you know that's why they chose me as a young director because obviously if you went to matinee in the 40s and you were in your 20s, a bit different, yeah. You know what I mean? You're probably about 70, so it's kind of or 70 or 80, so it's like merging the gap 
between the generations and just showing how music at the core ties us all together. It certainly does. That's so well said. And Isaac, names like Ray Charles, James Brown, Aretha Franklin, wasn't it 2018 when she died? I can't believe it's been so many years now. I mean, these are And look, people. what's crazy is Aretha Franklin's family, actually, we did a cover on the album of Chain of Fools in her really? estate signed off and gave really? me a green light to reproduce it. And they heard it and they loved it. And so we have a remake of the, the classic Chain of Fools on the album Southern Glory Come. Talk about a vote of confidence if Aretha Franklin's family uh, <laughs> Listen, supports your Listen, that's a serious thing. Yeah. I got to ask, I know you were mentioning the album that's coming out. My husband's a huge fan of music. Are you sampling any music from some of those legends on that album? So we only redid one song, which was the Aretha Franklin song. Couldn't, couldn't afford to redo too many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but um, it really put me in a different space and place because it allowed me to showcase my musicianship. Yeah. And so so um, the guy uh, that you see playing on the cover of the album, um, his name is Amaru, and he's actually a local um, brass player, and he's playing on the album. So we redid just different feels and different vibes in the album, just bringing back that 60s, 50s, soul, funk, yeah. original stuff. So I'm, I'm really, really, really excited like about the album. Good soul music. Like, yeah, it, for it sure. just speaks, I don't know about you, but like when I play that music, we have all sorts of old records like in our home. Yeah. Like, it just, it, it creates this vibe, this mood, and it just takes you to a place to where you can just kind of escape for a moment, you know? It's nostalgic. Yeah. 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 And that's, yeah. Many of us. and yeah. that's why we call the album and the art exhibition Southern Glory. Yeah. Because that's what it feels like. It just feels like glorious, you know, when you think about that music and that time. Um, and so, yeah, I'm extremely excited about it. Well, Isaac, it's great to finally welcome you back to Houston Life, and we're so proud of you and, and glad the film is getting the recognition it truly deserves. Thank Congratulations. You Thank you all. I love seeing everything flourishing. Houston Life is now like a whole situation. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, it's just, it, it's definitely elevated from when I first got <laughs> Our little show has grown just a little bit. Isaac, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And in the meantime, a reminder to our viewers that Memory Builds the Monument is now streaming on BET+. Plus. If if you'd like to learn more about this documentary, you know what to do. Just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.